What's going on, everybody? What's going on, congregation? <laughs> Y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hit like and share, guys. Hit like and share for me, please. Like and share. Hit like and share for me. What's up, Christine Hall? Hey, Sam TV. Danny, what's going on, baby? Oh, Sam from New York. All right, Sam. Good to meet you, sir. How you doing? You ready for the foolery? <laughs> Woo, Daddy, you ready for it, baby? I, I'm finna bring it. I am finna bring it. Happy holidays. How you doing, Andrea? We're so glad to have you. All right. Yes, indeed. We're going to talk about something that uh, uh, I see that's out and about. Hey, Sharon, how you doing, baby? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got a good number, so we're going to, all right, Sharon is from Maryland. Woo, my goodness. I love that place. I, I've only visited once, but I, I love that place. Eric Morris says, it's time. Eric said, the foolery. This is where we do the foolery, Eric. <laughs> All right, baby. Hey, home team. I'm at work, but uh, <laughs> here for the shenanigans. I know that's right. Oh, my goodness. All right, Miss Stella. Well, I'm so glad you're joining us for the first time. I hope you enjoy it. Um, when you get a little time and get off this live, go back and look at some of the videos, too. I appreciate you so much. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell so when we drop a video or go live, you'll get the notification. All right, Eric, I appreciate you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I really do. We are, um, let's talk about some things. Let me catch y'all up on some things and do a little housekeeping that we do. And, uh, and then we'll go into the show, okay? I know that... Um, that I've been away for a little bit. Been away for a little bit. Um, if y'all look up here, wait a minute, because I boom, yeah. boom. I'm running for mayor of my city, and so uh, I have been away for a while and haven't been able to bring you guys a video because I have been in the heat of the campaign. Uh, time and so of course got to focus and get the job done so let me apologize for being away for as long as I have but thank you all so very much for your understanding and for your continued support you all know I say it all the time without you uh, this is this channel would not be a success and I'm so very very appreciative for the time you all take out of your day to come over here and hang out with me and hear what I got to say uh, and sometimes since I've got kind of got a little hanging this live and giving you all an opportunity to speak in the comments, we can get it in. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. Hit like and hit 
share. Okay, I got to have it, guys. I got to have it. Hit that like button and hit the share button. I appreciate you so much, but please share it. It's kind of a short notice. Uh, thank you, Sharon, so very much. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, um, it's kind of a short notice um, notification went out about the live. And so if y'all will help me, please hit the like button, hit the share button so other people will be able to see it and hopefully come on in and be a part of the tomfoolery that we do here uh, <laughs> as a congregation. Okay. All right. So y'all do that for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, here on this channel, housekeeping, here on this channel, we can disagree. I have no problems. Y'all know that. I've had, I got Trump supporters, subscribers. I got uh, secular subscribers, holy, holy rolling, dancing down subscribers. We got them all over here. And, uh, and that means that there are a lot of varying opinions. Um, uh, and so... Over here is a safe, safe space. We want people to know they can speak their mind and be be OK with knowing that they are not going to be attacked. The only thing that I ask is that you don't attack nobody uh, and we're not disrespectful because we can uh, disagree without being disrespectful. OK. Um, and so have at it. Drop down in the comments. Y'all know I'm looking at them. If y'all say something hot, we're going to show it on the screen and we're going to talk about it. All right. Let's go into the top four. Um, <laughs> I um, became aware one of our one of our fellow con congregants uh, hit me up to ask me, did I hear about the story about Jamal Bryant and his new woman? Until I hadn't, because I've been on the campaign trail. So I went, searched it, looked it up. I was shocked and surprised. I went on to the, uh, I think her name is Cheryl's World. I think that's what that is. Cheryl's World. Hold on, let me check. I'm making sure. Yeah, Cheryl. Maybe it's Cheryl. I think that's Cheryl. Cheryl's World or Cheryl's World. Her page uh, to see this uh, breaking news. Sharon, what'd you say, Sharon? Sharon said, which woman? Which one is the new one? <laughs> Sharon, every week is a new one. <laughs> oh, Dina, his new chick look like Giselle. I tell you now, ain't that interesting? But let's check this out. Let's check this out. And, and listen now, I'm not saying that this ain't his new woman, but this is what I find interesting. I was listening to the gentleman on the show talk about this information that he received from his source, <laughs> but he didn't give the source's name. Okay. <laughs> so I'm listening to him tell the story that this was Jamal's new girl. He brought her in on the cloak and dagger. Uh, uh, he snuck her in like the teenage boy sneak a girlfriend in. Uh, uh, <laughs> after midnight in his mama's house. Do you hear me? He snuck her in like a teenage girl, opened the window, throw one rock <laughs> at the window and open the window and slip a man in in the cloak of night. <laughs> My God! <laughs> he snuck her in like a cheating woman telling her husband that uh, this is my friend down at the office. <laughs> um, so he um, 
This woman is the associate pastor uh, at the New Birth Church. Okay. Uh, one of the pastors at the New Birth Church. And uh, so this is who he's supposed to be seeing. According to this gentleman, um, he brought her in as pastor, got everybody comfortable with her, sent her around for the fellow uh, preachers and everybody else to, to get to know her and to like her and get everybody comfortable with her. And then, by y'all, surprise, we're dating. And <laughs> with everybody then saying, oh, that's so nice. That's so good. She's such a good girl. Oh, he did good. Oh, 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 God is for me, 1978. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you because I've been hard at it. I just was in a, um, I had a news station that wanted to do an expose on me. And they, um, they followed me around all day. Uh, uh, um, all day, uh, and I ain't too long right before I came in to do the live. Um, finished, uh, and so I was quite tired, but I'm here for the foolery, and I had to give you something because I hadn't given it to you in a long time. <laughs> so, this is the plan, okay? This is the plan, all right. So this is how it go. He going to slide her in, get everybody to like her, and then by y'all, we're together. And everybody's feeling good because they've gotten a chance to know her, uh, and they like her, and they're going to think that they are a great match. And that's wonderful. It makes it easy. It's more palatable. So then you ask, well, okay, eternity, what about Giselle? Well, I already told y'all that that was a fake relationship. That was just for TV, okay? Well, if you look at the TV show, it looked like the girls don't like their daddy and da 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 When telling you all that that relationship was for TV, they're all acting. The girls are supposed to act like they don't like their daddy and they don't like their mama with their daddy so that that gives Giselle a way to exit. And then she can say, you know, things would have been great, but I didn't want to upset my daughters and cause them emotional harm and all of, all of this, that, and another. And ooh, 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 ooh. So I left him because I love my girls more than I love a man. So now Giselle has a way out of this fake relationship. Y'all know something I show like, when care when they were out in um in Portugal, uh, <laughs> and, and and Karen told uh told Giselle she knew that Jamal lived in the phone. Boy, I'm telling you, Drew, I fell out. <laughs> Giselle trying to prove that this is a real relationship. Baby, Karen called her out. I'm, let me call him. Let me Facetime. She's like, yeah, I know he lived in the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, listen, Afedi, I don't know if they don't like him or not. Okay? I don't know. It looks like that on the show, for sure. But the same sort, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive that the same source that the gentleman on Sherelle's world had is the same source I had. And I did an interview with her and her name is Latanya Griffin. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. The other woman speaks. That's the title of the video. Because every the exact way that he explained this story plot is the exact same story plot that Latanya gave to me. Well, turn to you, I don't remember you saying anything about the price. I didn't. And the reason why I didn't is because I didn't have any proof. There was nothing else out there to support what she was saying. Y'all remember now, I, although we're here for the tomfoolery, I'm not here to spread gossip. 
I'm not here to, to tell stuff made up on somebody just for a sport. I don't do that. If the information is out there, we research it, I study it, and then I come here and we talk about how what I see when I look at these particular situations. And since there was nothing else out there that I could show that, that was support that this was true, I left it alone. I think that's right. Now, what y'all think? Tell me. Tell me. Should I just pick up any old thing anybody tell me? There's no other way to confirm it and just still put it out there as though it's true? Because I don't do that. Now, it might get you a whole lot of extra clicks and likes and shares, but I got some integrity. I ain't got no problem talking about what I know you've done. What I know has been already out there, it's been established, it's been proven, but all of this extra stuff that there's no way of knowing until something else happens, i would not try to leave that in, in the room. Just like Jamal, when the rumor came out about him being uh, impregnating that girl from his church, y'all didn't see me run out here and talk to y'all about that because there was no proof. It was a whole body of rumor. Everything everybody was saying, because they so quick to want to be first. I don't care about being first. I care about being right, accurate, true. Okay? Uh, I didn't talk about that because it was all rumors. Now, I did talk about it when I talked to one additional extra woman that I that I did an, I did an interview and I talked to y'all that there was another woman that Jamal was seeing, uh-huh, uh-huh, right along the time that he was seeing Latanya. And that young lady told me that she was pregnant by Jamal, but she did not belong to the church, to New, New Birth Church. Now, I ain't seen no paternity test. I did see a picture of the beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. Um, but I left it at that because that's all I had. And that young lady was to ask me not to go into depth um, because she was afraid. To be honest, she didn't say afraid, but I took it that way. She was trying to situate some things and I and in my opinion, get her money right with this with this dude. And she didn't want to say or do anything that might make it more difficult for her to secure uh, a financial um, base for her daughter. OK, and to me, that made sense, because when you out here with these crazy men, they lying to you, they cheating on you, they being scandalous, they being crooked, they playing games. I, I mean, uh, yeah, you can go to court and you can do all that. But sometimes you can be in court fighting for a long time and, and end up with less money than what you could have gotten if you just sat down, calm down, you know, use that what we call that mother wit on them. You end up with way more money. So I understood it. I mentioned it to you. I gave y'all what I could give y'all. And then I left it alone out of respect for her asking me to do that because of how she was trying to handle this situation with him. I think that's fair. Now, if y'all don't think I, that that's fair, let me know. I want y'all opinion. Okay. <clears throat> now, believing that his source is my source. I'm confused because you're speaking something that still you don't know. It's still a rumor. I believe it. I believe it. But it won't come true to me until these parts play out. Until these parts play out, right? When he announced that he's dating her or the relationship between him and Giselle goes south. Now, I know that relationship is fake. You can see that on the show. You can see that on the show. How you say that, Attorney? Girl, that man came from Georgia to uh, 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 Potomac to spend birth the birth her birthday with her. Y'all remember that? Did y'all see him kiss her? Hmm. Did y'all see him kiss her? Did y'all see him hug her? No, you did. But if we were in a loving relationship and we've been married before and we're trying to we go we're trying to get back. You I ain't gonna get no birthday kiss. 
my men, I've heard that there are little special gifts you get on Christmas or for your birthday or for the holiday. And you're on a show. I mean, we saw her kiss Sherman. Y'all remember that? We saw her kiss Sherman on the show, but you're not going to be able to kiss your ex-husband, your baby daddy, and your, your now man. And last on, the, on this last episode, was this episode or episode before, where he was supposed to be coming into town to do a photo shoot, and somehow he missed the plane, but he getting his nails done at the nail place in the, in the, in the airport. Let me ask y'all something. If he made his, he missed the plane, but y'all know it's more than one plane leaving Atlanta going to Potomac, don't you? So why we didn't see the clip where he finally got there? <laughs> and before, let me tell y'all something. Before that episode, I thought the kids didn't know. I thought it was uh somewhat e emotional abuse to take them kids through y'all scheming uh, and, 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 and planning and plotting and all this foolishness. But I do believe the kids know. I do believe the kids know. Because in that episode, them kids was acting like they really were looking for their dad to just show up. And, and he got the, uh, mama's wearing white and we're wearing gold and daddy got a suit, they got the white and gold. He gonna mess up the color scheme. But daddy never got there. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. I ask y'all a question. Have you ever had to rebook a meeting? plan because something happened they couldn't hold the photo shoot back I mean with all this money you tell me we can reschedule <laughs> so I say again all of this I'm sure is true I'm sure but man what a diabolical set of individuals that would go through all of this. And you are the pastor of people. So as opposed to being honest with your people, knowing and believing that a liar would not tarry in his sight. <laughs> you gonna scheme the people? That's what we're doing now as pastors of the church. We're now scheming on the congregants instead of being honest. What we now we know pastors lie, but but this is um this is a bit much. This is a bit much. It's all of Jamal, but this is a bit much. Okay. And now it got me wondering if this dude ain't getting some kind of kickback from that Tulsa real estate fund. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard that phrase probably in a long time, right? Huh? But check it out. The Tulsa real estate fund, Jay Mars is a member, or at least he and his wife attends New Birth Church. Sometimes during COVID, since COVID, or at least one time, Jamal went to that, to their, the Black House to do one of his Sunday services. Okay? Alright? On a, you know, after Potomac goes off, Andy Cohen does this show called uh, 
the after show or after live or something like that. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Help me with that. The show that comes on after, after them. Uh, something like live after dog. I don't. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all think of it, just to put it in the chat so I, so I can see it. Okay, he does this show and he had Giselle on there, and she was. Lord have mercy. No, he didn't catch it. Let me put this up so y'all can see it. I think he told the church one time while preaching they knew what they were getting into when they hired him. Lord have mercy. Ooh-wee. Mm-mm-mm. Well, Giselle was on that show with Andy Cohen. And when before the show was getting ready to go off, uh, she asked people to... Donate, contribute that money. Watch what happens live. Woo, that's it. She was on that show. Thank you so much, Sharon. She was on that show and she asked us to get some money to that, to that fund. And just about now, everybody know Jay is a scammer. Jay is a scammer. So why are you attaching yourself to this guy? See, this is the thing that I don't like. This is what I don't like about Jamal. And y'all know, y'all know, I'll go at you. But if I like you, I like you. And I liked it did him. I liked it did him at one time. I did, I liked it did him. But the more and more he keeps these scams and these lies and these plots and these schemes keep coming up, the less I can like this dude. Everybody got their flaws. Everybody got their ways. But dog, you just get to the point where you are just a low down, dirty dog. And you ain't got no business standing over God's people. And I'm getting real irritated with him. Okay? Getting real irritated with him. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead. I've been saying if I was gonna do this video because I want I want y'all, I don't want y'all getting scammed and losing your money. Listen to Jamal talking about putting your place somewhere that they call it an investment when really the truth of it is you just giving a donation. Crowdfunding is you giving a donation with the hope that you might get something back. Okay. You ain't never gonna get nothing back because that dude don't know how to run a fund. And instead of making money, he's losing it. He's losing it. You hear me? And now he's starting to pay a little people and kind of pay people off to satisfy them so they can stop busting them out. But I'm not prob- I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that show. Is 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 Jay Morrison to Jamal what uh Ephraim Taylor was uh to Eddie Long? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eddie Long attached himself to a scammer too and, and cost some of his church members millions of dollars in losses. And they sued him and they got their money. So if you put some money in that fund because Jamal and Giselle told you to, I'm just saying. I ain't telling you to sue nobody. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's getting worse over the years. Nobody's, nobody's checking on him. Checking on. You're right, Alicia. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you leave things unchecked, it can go awry. And it seems like right now, um, I, I just, I don't know what's wrong with it. I've listened to you on Jamal before, Judge, and you have been very fair and very patient and understanding. I try to be, because I do understand that people got their ways and their issues, but the brother can preach, and it's, and he came out the box trying to do good, positive things for the community. Anybody that's trying to help people in general, but in particular us, you got to support it. And I, and I refuse to use his past against him when he appears that he's doing much, much better, doing some positive thing. And it's like, once you start, like, I mean, he's almost like a doggone, uh, not a narcissist, right? Uh, uh, a Jim Jones type of dude, right? As soon as I get you liking me and into me and I got you hooked, then boom, too late. Drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I 
ain't drinking the Kool-Aid. They're not gonna kill me. Mm-mm. I think I'm so thankful I can think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mercy, Jesus. But Tanya did tell me that she asked him about this woman. When she noticed her new popping in the place, she asked him about this woman, and he said it wasn't nothing. He said it wasn't nothing. And she came to find out or feel that he had been messing with her the same time he was messing with Tanya. Kiera. And she asked him about it. And he brushed it off. Now she's the pastor at the church. (laughs) She's beautiful. I got to admit, she's a beautiful woman. He can pick him some beautiful woman. That woman that uh, uh that got his baby allegedly. Y'all ain't gonna get uh my show uh cut off by <laughs> got me out here rambling on. I done forgot to put the alleged, but allegedly this lady got a baby by him, and I hadn't seen her. Um, but I bet you she pretty. He like them pretty, pretty. And I'm not going to call these ladies dumb because Tanya, I know, is a very intelligent woman. And and, and so is Kiara, it appears. Um, But man, you know, um, there are these men out there that, 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 that have a way of seeing a woman or after talking to a woman, whatever this thing energy is that is put out, they know that they can that they can that they can get them and twist them. What they call what they call that, y'all? Anybody anybody on the line know what they call that? These these there are people that are, I don't know if it's a talent, I don't know if it's an evil demonic spirit. I don't know what it is, but it's something that makes you know that this is a woman that you can play with. Because just like I asked Tanya, why would you be in a relationship with a man this long? Sleeping with him or not, but not married to him. I asked the other young lady who's allegedly got his baby. She been with him. Let my more years. You ain't think you you. I mean, nothing in your mind says at some point you're gonna have to marry me or I'm out. So there has to be an aura, an energy, an essence about the female that allows him to see and know that you real good, babe. <laughs> Baby, he know he's sitting out of bait that ooh, and I've heard from folks that fish because I don't know about, about about fishing, but depending on the fish you're trying to catch, there's a specific bait you gotta use. <laughs> Boy, he's out there snatching up goopers. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. And any which way he pull you and jerk you and sp- there you go, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and I promise y'all, I'm not picking on these ladies. I have much respect for Latoya Griffin, much respect for the young lady that allegedly has his baby. I talk with these women, man. They much respect, okay? But something's going on. That would allow you to be dangled on a string at, in, at a man's will and, 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 and be okay with it or to accept it. Mm, 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 mm. 
What you say, Sharon? What you say, Sharon? What you say, Sharon? Predators know their prey. Predators know their prey. I hear you laugh, love. No, where she go? Where laugh, love go? There you go. Live, laugh, love, 3636 said naive. Well, you know what? Live, laugh, love, 3636. That young lady that allegedly has his baby, I think was naive because she said she was very, very young when they first met in her early 20s. Okay, in her early 20s. But Latanya was a full grown woman. She ain't naive. <laughs> A high school girl is naive. A college kid is naive. Okay, not a full-grown woman. Got a couple of degrees, jobs. That's naive. That's not naive. Something else is going on. Something else is, there's a void there that when this joker shows up, you are filled as though that void is filled. And once he knows you feel that he has filled that void, it's almost like then, now he's ready to turn into a Tasmanian devil and, and go do something else. Go pick up somebody else to add uh, to his conquest. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this, and y'all just hang tight. But this Negro got holes in different area codes. <laughs> That's a whole, that's a whole saying. <laughs> so I can see how he can keep everybody away from everybody because he, you know, he's all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? And it's the one thing that I noticed when he did that video denying that he had impregnated a woman from his church. You know what I thought was interesting that he said in there and the way he said it, he said in Atlanta, as though I don't know why I ain't impregnated nobody in Atlanta. I missed it the first time I saw it. What I should have said once I listened to it again and saw how the emphasis was put on that is, well, at what t what what state is she in, is the pregnant woman at? <laughs> He was on a radio show. He was on a radio show with those two ladies. I cannot, um, I cannot, um, I cannot think of the name, but the daughter of one of the girls is the daughter, I think it is, of Isaac Hayes. And, and they have a radio show. The other daughter, the other lady is a daughter of somebody that's well known, but right now I can't, I can't call the name. OK, but 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 but, <laughs> but he was on that show and they were asking him, you know, you're a single man. Woo -woo, and he made it perfectly clear. He made it perfectly clear that that was a struggle for him. He ain't no eunuch. He said it. That's a struggle for him. He going to have to find him somebody because that ain't going to work. But he emphasized the fact that they did not have to worry about him trying to find nobody in Atlanta. Now, he did say that. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that. He like, because I don't even know what I'm going to pick up in Atlanta. <laughs> and if I pick her up, I don't know what she going to have <laughs> in Atlanta. And that's the truth. Uh-huh. Now, he ain't lie there. Bless God. And I ain't saying nothing about it. I'm just saying Atlanta got some of the beautifulest women, beautifulest, I said it, beautifulest women um, that when you get to know them a little closer, they ain't no woman. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody know that Atlanta right now, I think, is the AIDS capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean they got a trick and a treat <laughs> oh my goodness but the way he put emphasis on that in Atlanta <laughs> they gonna tell you Griffin what's going on baby What's going on, baby? Ta 
Tanya, you gonna come in. Tanya, Tanya, you gonna come in. Tanya, you gonna come in. Where you go? You coming in? Can I send you the link? Tell me something now. Come back. Tell me. Can I send you the link? I want you to come in. Oh my goodness. Woo, yeah, we finna get it in right now, baby. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We finna get it in. Come on, Tanya. Where you at? Did you you ain't come? Oh, come on, baby. Come on in with me. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me send her the link. Let me send her the link. I'm finna send her the link right now. Ooh, yes, indeed. Let's have some fun, y'all. Let's have some fun. Because I want to I want to know. I want to know. We can talk about it now. Somebody else didn't put it out there. I, 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 y'all know I don't I don't I don't break the news. I report the news. If it's already out. Dude, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, it's buffering. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. That's the that's right, dog truth. That's what I said. That's what I said. He knew we getting ready to get on on this on this inner demon that Jamal got, and he didn't want to try to stop it from happening. But the devil is a lie. I got some, I got that extra Wi-Fi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, baby. I'm here, De Deanna. I'm here, baby. I'm here. Everybody okay? Everybody okay? Y'all sent me, sit, hit, hit, give me some wise so I know y'all can see me. Everything's okay. We back, we back up and running. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Y'all see me? Oh, that girl said. I don't see y'all saying nothing. Y'all see me? I'm here. Bless God. Hallelujah. Y'all see me? I'm good. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank y'all very much. Come on, Tanya. I sent you. Tanya, do not be acting with me now. Me and you talk. Me and you talk. Here she go. Oh, Lord. All right, y'all. She don't want to come in. She don't want to come in. Maybe I can get her to come in tomorrow after the uh is the the reunion ain't tomorrow. It's the last show. The room is the last show. It's the last show. Um but anywho, 
<laughs> Anywho, uh, 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 shucks, what was I saying? That doggone thing. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Tim Bray, Tim Bray, Turner, Miss Turner, hurry up, come on with it. I know, I know, I know. All right, back to the show. <laughs> Look, look, look. I'm just saying that there's a lot going on, okay? There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Y'all want to watch the reunion because um, what's that good name? What's the good name that's married to Big Chris? Big Chris. Uh, Monique. 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 Uh, uh, has got some good stuff on uh, on uh, Giselle. Um, and that's going to be funny. That's going to be funny. Um, uh, Sister Tanya, I think, then, then dropped some nuggets. I can't wait. I, I see why she, she want to wait. She want to wait uh, so that we can discuss it uh, because much of the information I think is going to have to do with her. Uh, so I understand. I ain't tripping. I love you, Tanya. Uh, don't have no problems with you, baby. And we can do it then. I ain't got no sweat. Ain't no problem. Uh, <laughs> but I just knew it was going to get hot up in here if you had come on. The folk like you over here, baby. <laughs> the folk like you over here. And this is something that I like about Tanya. And, and the one reason why I did believe her OK. Um, and, and, and this is what I told the young lady that allegedly uh, has his uh, has his has his baby. Um, has his baby that I believe you uh, because you seem to be sincere. You wasn't you weren't, um, you know, angry uh, and that kind of thing. Now, 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 now the alleged. Uh, uh, new baby mama said that you know although Tanya said that she was not she wasn't trying to hurt Jamal or anything like that she just wanted people to know that he was uh, uh, cheating in the next room <laughs> making plans to meet her soon <laughs> Yes, indeed. Ooh, that's some old school fire, baby. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the the new baby mama said uh, that that's that that's exactly what she's doing. <laughs> she is angry. She just know how to hide it. She be real smooth with it. And the one thing I find interesting about that is this. Look like everybody that's attached to Jamal. If that's true, if that's true about Tanya, it looked like everybody attached to Jamal got a little bit of sneaky, sneaky in them. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! Lord have mercy, Jesus! Y'all gonna make y'all gonna turn me into fucking that I'm gonna be over here singing all the songs because I know some that y'all hear what I'm saying. I'm old school. I got a lot. <laughs> my God, good heaven! <laughs> Listen, do me a favor, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Please hit the like button. Hit the share. I appreciate it so much. Um, I like for people to, to 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 see the video. Sometimes people ain't able to catch catch the live, um, and if they're not subscribers, they won't get the notification. And sometimes I've had uh, people reach out to me or leave down in the comments that they're glad that the video was shared because they never would have known that it exists and the content and the information was so refreshing um, and uh, and informational. Uh, so they they always appreciative and I'm appreciative of you guys. Like I always say, guys, to the extent this channel is successful, it's because of you. 
Uh, so y'all do that for me, okay? If you hadn't already done it, hit the like button, hit the share button, okay? I ought to be able to get at least 30 shares. At least 30. <laughs> at least 30. All right. That girl said, wow, sing, mama. I can do it. I can. I can sing. I can. Yeah. In my house. <laughs> Now, I used to be in the choir at church uh, in choir directing. We did fairly well. We, we, my, my church choir became um, pretty well known around where I am here in the Mississippi Delta. And there we got to the point where uh, people started asking us to come and sing uh, for the programs they had at, at their churches without asking our pastor to come and preach. Um <laughs> And that's no shade on my pastor, uh, cause she's she can preach. Pastor Littleton can preach now. I'm telling you the truth. She can lay it down. Um, but it's just a testament that we put in a lot of hard work and time to be the best that we could be, and it paid off. Yeah, paid off. So I'm blessed by that. Uh, okay. All right, so I thank y'all. Not funky. I'm telling the truth. You know, funky be singing, but I think my singing sound just a little bit better than it. A little bit better. Maybe a little brag, brag there, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> All right, family. Y'all know I don't like to keep y'all on long. I just like to come in here and hit the issue and the topics, get us a little uh, laugh on. Uh, hopefully make your night a little bit lighter and better uh, before you lay it down to, to rest. And, uh, and and I hope all is well in your family. I definitely want you guys to be safe. COVID ain't no joke. COVID ain't no joke. We just lost a beautiful young lady. I think she was probably about 43 years old, uh, well-known, well-successful insurance agent. Uh, her son, um, they elected to send their child to school instead of being on virtual. He contracted the virus, came home and gave it to the rest of the family. She seemed to be doing well, responding well. And then all of a sudden, Tuesday morning, um, she started feeling real bad and then started complaining of not being able to breathe. And by the time they got her to the hospital, she had a massive heart attack uh, and died. And um, the way I've heard it is that the COVID ca caused her blood sugar to elevate, um, which created the, uh, the heart attack. And so um, I'm asking you guys to pray for, for her family especially her son, um, because right now, uh, as I'm being informed, he's struggling heavy uh, with the feeling that he killed his mom. Um, and that's rough. I, I, I mean, but it is the very reason why I told my school very clearly, as long as you guys are virtually educated, my child will be a part of your school system. The day you tell him he got to come in and we still got COVID out here, I'm withdrawing it. And we'll, we'll make it work. It'll be okay. Because what y'all not going to do is put my child in a situation where he goes to your school, he contracts the disease, but because he's 10 and his immune system and body is just healthy as a horse, he's going to be fine. But if you bring it home and give it to me, who has some underlying conditions, who, who and I'm a type one diabetic, um, and kill me, you're not going to have my son sitting over in the corner rocking. Because he's trying to deal with the fact that he killed his mama. I ain't no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I saw that way down the road. Wasn't playing that game. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 yeah, 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 Butterfield, yeah, 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 yeah. 
and it's and and it's it's just a you know whew, I knew her uh and I knew her husband he and I served together on our community action agency board together for if not eight years four for sure I think it was eight years and um so that was a tough blow okay so pray for me because that's a tough blow and I really feel for the young man because it was my concern about my own child um so I appreciate you guys I love y'all guys um I had to wait in a long line at the graveyard just to I had to wait in a long line at the graveyard just to say ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our folks, uh, um, hmm. it's just a lot. And I live in a small town where I live. Um, so everybody knows everybody if you ain't related to everybody. And lately, um, it's just been one death after another, guys. Just one death after another, one death after another. We losing our grandparents and parents like 40 going north. Um, and unless you know where four, highway 40 is, you might not understand that <laughs> understand that reference. Um, but 40 will take you on out to St. Louis. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> From here. <laughs> uh, and so I want you guys to be safe. I wear my masks. Um, in and around everybody except my family. If my family has been somewhere without me, I know they have their mask on. We spray. Uh, we do everything we know how to do to kill and clean and just try to try to stay as safe as we can. Um, because listen, man, I'm an investor. If y'all look at some of my early videos, I talk about investing. I use my hashtag that I always use is my money matters. And I hope your money matters too. But, and I, so I understand the need for a, um, uh, a booming economy, right? We know we need that. And as a mayor, soon to be mayor, um, I need a, a solid economy for my city so it can continue to grow, expand, and 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 become revitalized. But but I I did an it. I told y'all I was doing an interview today. A guy followed me around all day, and we ended the day with actually doing the the full the interview, the question and answer session. And he asked me as mayor, what would I do going forward to address and deal with the COVID situation? Uh, and I shared with him about the deaths that we've had in our town. And I, I said, well, um, I would definitely encourage uh, and, and, and require people to wear masks. That is a necessary thing that you don't have to like it. But right about now, if you want to live, you at least got to do that. I said, but I would have no question, none, no hesitation to shut this city down for at least two weeks to try to get a handle on that spread if our numbers continue to spike. And because I'm into understanding money management and financing and investing, I understand what that was gonna do for my businesses. But I just haven't made it to a place yet where I place profits over life. And I hope that you all would agree. But I do know there's a whole lot of people that don't. Oh, uh, you got to die or uh, something. You're going to die sometime. I am. But let my sometime be later in time. <laughs> Do y'all hear me? <laughs> I know I gotta die sometime, but do I have to die today? <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord have mercy. And listen, I understand. Y'all know I know 
that none of us are going to leave here until that number has been pulled in heaven. <laughs> that I do know. But the word also say we can speed it up. <laughs> the word also say you can speed it up, right? So I'm not trying to speed up. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I want to see Jesus. <laughs> Later on in life. <laughs> right now, I'm real good calling on him and depending on him and leaning on him. I don't need to see him right now. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> you got to die of something. Well, let me ask you a question. Yes, I do. But why can't it be old age? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why can't it be? old age <laughs> why can't that be what we die from <laughs> oh boy when them white folks say stuff and some of these black folks say it too when they say that and i say what i just told y'all <laughs> they look so foolish in the face because <laughs> it's like I need you to slow down and let the th thoughts in your head form. Give you an opportunity to think about them before you say them. <laughs> I'm just I'm just not going to do it. And the Bible told us now that the hearts of men in the latter days will wax cold. And the day that we start saying Money matters more than life. That's a cold, that's a cold situation, David. That's a cold situation. And I tell, I just told them, I, 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 ain't, I ain't made it there yet. Now there may be a day where, where I evolve in my thinking and I'm like, ah, <laughs> but right now, no, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Because look, I look at it, I look at it like this. What good is a booming economy and you ain't here? <laughs> you ain't here to make no money from the economy. You ain't here to get no money, spend no money, nothing. And the Bible said that the dead can't praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Don't y'all, y'all know I heard, I'll move into a deep preach now in a minute. I don't want to go there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. No name. Yeah, you missed it, the Jamal segment, baby, but no harm, no foul. Don't worry, no worries. Uh, I think on YouTube, if you go to the little red line at the bottom, a, a little ball, you know, a little circle is going to come up and you can slide it all the way back and start over. Or just give us a hot minute. And uh, when we close out here, uh, it's going to upload and you'll be able to access it. OK, so so you hadn't really you just missed it in where we are now, but you're not going to miss it. You are gonna get an opportunity to see it. I promise. OK. Uh, Y'all do me a favor, hit that like button and uh, and and hit the thumbs up button for me, hit the share button. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and come on in and be a part of the congregation. The one good thing over here in the congregation is you ain't got to pay tithes. <laughs> you know y'all making decisions to join church on how they, on how they expect you to pay your tithes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god hey robert mcgee god bless you brother 
Come on in. He said, wow, I'm new on this channel, but enjoying your show tremendously. We all need to laugh. Robert McGee, I thank you so much, brother, for spending the time to come on over here and be with us a little bit and hang out. And I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I talk real stuff. We're going to talk about it. Um, but I ain't never going to let you leave here without a laugh. I may talk real serious for a long time. But before I say bye, we finna get the giggles in. You hear me? Because I'm all for the for the tomfoolery and the messiness of it all. I, I tell them when I'm over on Facebook. <laughs> when I'm over on Facebook, man, uh, over here, we, we're a little bit, you know, I don't do this on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> I tell them, if y'all want the tomfoolery, the funny side of AT, come on over to the YouTube page. That's where we get in the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy, bless my soul. <laughs> Can I ask y'all to do something for me before before we uh, we go? As a congregation, I would like to do two things. I would like to pray for that for that for that young man that lost his mama and is dealing uh, very seriously emotionally. And uh, and 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 then I'm gonna ask y'all for the other thing, right? Quick, real quick. I'm not gonna hold you long. Real quick, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come as a family and ask you to lift up Kevin's son for us, please, Jesus. Bring him and wrap him in your bosom, God. Give him that peace that surpasses all understanding. Give him the comfort and help him understand it's not his fault. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Oh, God, please help him see and understand. Get peace in this situation. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Hallelujah. He didn't do anything intentionally. He had no control over contracting COVID. He had no control over bringing it home and giving it to his mom. He had no control over how that disease was going to attack his mom's body. It's not his fault. God, help him get there. Help him get there. And we ask you to keep that family, Lord, close to you. Be a comfort to him. And in the matchless mighty name of Jesus, we'll be all so careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you all so much for doing that. Um, I appreciate it uh, so much. Um, and listen, let me ask you all something, okay? Would y'all pray for me? Not now. <laughs> I mean, ain't nobody on the screen but me. So if I say pray for me right now, who going to do it? And how we going to hear it? <laughs> when y'all get off this channel, <clears throat> my election is December the 14th, family. December the 14th. Let me put it up here so you guys will uh, see it and know, okay? All right. It's December the 14th. So that's just around uh, the corner. I don't have long uh, now. Uh, so would y'all please, um, would y'all please in your prayer time, uh, put me in there. <laughs> put me in there. There's a project uh, here for my city concerning our local state park. And I've met with all of the decision makers about the park. I understand what happened to it, how we lost it, where it is now. Um, but those gentlemen shared with me that if I'm not elected mayor, the city won't get the park. What will most likely end up happening to it is they'll close it, shut it down, and that'll be it. I don't want that to happen. I don't think it's fair to some extent to hang that jacket on me because I don't control whether I become mayor or not. But I understand the position that they've attempted to do this under the current administration and was met with nothing, no action, no nothing. And the gentleman that's running against me is a current alderman now. So because he's a part of that old regime, and they believe he will carry out those old regime ways. They're not going to do. They're not going to do business with. Them. They won't do business. And it's not fair to the people because the people need it. I'm telling y'all, our state park here in Rosedale is the bomb, or at least it was 
before the flood happened. Um, and and it and that you know it's in the condition that it's in. But I don't know another way to say it than that. I I, I hate that this is the situation that we're in, but it is. Um, and so would y'all pray for me? Would y'all ask God to 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 bless me and to touch the heart of the people to um, give give a sister a chance? Um, so that we got a got a real good opportunity of turning my city around and, and revitalizing. My city is like all the other small towns in the Delta and around the country that have kind of just dried up and almost died. Uh, but I'm telling y'all, man, I'm feeling I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the spirit when the Lord spoke to the prophet and asked him, "Can these bones live?" Hey, and I gave the same answer the prophet gave. Yes, they can, Lord. <laughs> yes, they can. And I know we can, especially when in reaching out to people, asking them, can we get this done? And their response to me is yes, but it's only going to be yes to me. And that's a shame against God in some respect, not all, because I get it. You're not going to turn hundreds of thousands of dollars over to people that, that has already shown you they don't know how to manage it. They're not going to do anything with it, which means at the, inevitably, if it gave you the park, it was going to be closed anyway. So the best opportunity for the park to be successful is to have a new administration come in and, and work with them. And so I understand that uh, part of it. So would y'all pray for me? I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Butterfield, I'm from uh, Mississippi. A little town called Rosedale, uh, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. We sub, we're the town. If you Google about the the nineteen twenty seven Mississippi flood, you're gonna see my town and my city. You'll see how far we've come from that disastrous situation. Um, but Lord Jesus. We unfortunately got a long way to go because over the years, bad leadership has just put, we look now like we did in 1927. <laughs> you know, Biggie Smalls was an ugly man. <laughs> okay, that's not fair because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Biggie Small was an interesting in looking individual. He had a very unique way of looking. <laughs> Before he got that money. And somehow when he got that money and, it, and, 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 and he applied it in the right places of the crevices of his skin, he began to look really, really nice. <laughs> And I say, said that to say this. We looked very interesting in 1927. And we had money and, and, and all, oh man, just thriving things pressed into the crevices of Rosedale's skin. And we looked really good for a long time. But then bad leadership came into place and bless God, we then went back to looking interesting. <laughs> you ever see somebody look horrible and then they look good and then you see them 20, 30 years ago and you're like, good God, what happened? Jesus, <laughs> that's us. <laughs> but, but we have an opportunity once again to infuse on uh, some Botox <laughs> and a little silicone <laughs> back into the city and, uh, and, and thrive again. And I would like the opportunity to do so. And I know there are several people in the city that's ready for change, want to do better. And I got a lot of support. I mean, that's why the news station uh, wanted to do the expose because the word has gotten around 
not just in my city, but in my county and outside the county. Right now, I can go just about anywhere and people are going to ask me about the race in Rosedale. And that, I mean, this turned, I mean, woo! It, I'm telling y'all, it's it, it's it's the most exciting election that we have had here in a long time. And I'm glad for it because it makes people get involved, become interested about their local government, and they start getting a better understanding of how the local government happens. You know what I'm saying? And so it's all a good thing. Um, I just need a particular result to come out to really be able to do the things uh, that's going to be beneficial to our city and for our people. So y'all include me in your prayers. I appreciate it so very much. And just like my local citizens, you know, y'all are my congregation, man. And and when I'm thinking about doing things, making choices and decisions, whether you all know it or not, I have you guys in mind just like I have my citizens, because I would never want to do anything that would cause any of you guys, right, to lose respect. I'm not perfect. You know, I tell y'all all the time, when I first started this channel and really was getting into it and y'all was coming on and getting with me, you know, I had a cussing problem. <laughs> Sometimes I go to speak and I can hear the cuss words coming out. And I had to reach out and grab them and bring them back. And I'll still get in one or two every now and then if something gets under my skin. But but I think I'm doing way better than I did when I first started out. Oh, my God, I was catching words all over the place, all over the place. Baby, I turned into a musician. There go, let me get it. There go, let me get it. Arr, come back here. <laughs> So I think we're getting better and stronger together. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all because y'all let me come here and be myself. And I appreciate that. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate the love. I appreciate I appreciate the support. Peter Cust, yes, he did. Maybe that was my brother. Y'all think Peter was my brother? Because he would cut you and cuss you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, and I used a lot to talk about my 380 gun. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Jesus. Then I got a better one that shoots real straight. <laughs> oh my God. Live, land, love. You crazy. You crazy after all that cut, all that cussing, what you <laughs> But if you, you never heard me cuss, you gotta go back and look at some of them. <laughs> you go back and look, you go back and look at some of them old. Uh, <laughs> you go back and look, go back and look at some of them old videos of mine, baby. You will see me. Baby, I was catching cuss words like a frog catch fly. Hey, um, come here. <laughs> Don't you go out there. You come back in this house. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but I thank you so much. Robert, thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you so much. Um, Y'all hold on one second before we shot check out of here because I saw somebody who asked me a question and I meant to answer it. And then I missed it. Did y'all see it? Somebody asked me about... Um, being on a program or on their channel or something like that. Did anybody in here see see that see that comment? Mm -hmm. Anybody see that? Know who that was? Mm 
Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get an opportunity. Uh, that sheriff says, shoot, once I cussed out my past. Y'all, let me tell you something about this cussing spirit I had. I was in court. Y'all know I'm a lawyer. I was in court. I asked for continuances, continuance on one of my trials that was coming up because, um, well, I wasn't ready. Can I say that? I, I had to discover, I had talked to my client, but I just wasn't ready to try it. I needed more time to kind of filter things in my head and make sure that everything was settled with how I wanted to go if we were going to go to trial. But I thought it was a case that would be better if, if me and the DA could resolve it. You know, it needed to be resolved. OK, a deal needed to be made. And at that time, the state wasn't willing to make me a deal. So if I was going to be forced to go to trial, I needed to make sure that I had every angle covered. I understood how I was going to maneuver to make this thing happen. Because when I go to trial, baby, I ain't going just because I got to. I'm going into the courtroom to win. OK. <laughs> and so you ain't going to set me up. Uh, and, and and so the judge was an a, a attorney that I knew and liked, got along with very well. This white guy, but he's cool dude. I mean, seriously, he's a cool dude. Um, and he was just pressing me about it. Well, what else you got to do? Well, what you need? You got all the discovery. Da 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 da. He just was making it hard, right? Y'all, I promise, this is a true story. Before I knew it, I had told the judge, well, why the hell don't you try it then? Did y'all hear me? I stood in that courtroom and told the circuit judge, why in the hell don't you try it then? It was like, since you know so much, it's so easy for you to try. Then why the hell you try? Let's switch. I knew like that. I didn't even realize I had said it. And what was more even interesting and funny was he started laughing. Called the recess, brought me and the prosecutor into his chambers laughing and asking me, what's really going on? Because I know you. <laughs> so what's happening? I told him. We told him the facts of the case, the situation laid out. And I'm saying, Judge, under the circumstances, this is what needs to happen. This right here needs to happen. And <laughs> and guess what, guys? I got the deal that I wanted. Not because the DA gave it to me. <laughs> so, yes, yes, to break, yes, to the judge. I did it. I did it. It was. I should have been held in contempt of court. But I think he was so outdone that I would say that. <laughs> and like I said, I knew him. We, we, he was cool. I knew him. I mean, like, we talked about stuff. Okay? Personal life stuff. And I and like he said when we got in his chamber, I know this ain't you, man. What is going on? And so I was honest with him and told him what it was. And I don't think it's fair to be pushed into a trial uh, with a cat, cat that's going to be found guilty because the evidence is what it is when this is really something that needs to be worked out. And he was like, well, what, work out how, what you what you talking about? And I told him and gave it to him. <laughs> God is some <something> serious. <laughs> That was funny, man. That was funny. That was a funny situation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. George Wright, good evening. I'm so sorry you coming in right when we about to go out. <laughs> ain't that some? 
ain't that ain't that just like ain't that just like life when they're giving away something and when you find out about it <laughs> or get a chance to get there they just gave out the last thing <laughs> They just gave out the last turkey. They just gave out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. <laughs> Y'all know they have a it. <laughs> oh man. But George, 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 please, please, please. Um, when this thing load up, just watch it again. If you go down to the to the where that red line is at the bottom of the video, you might see a little circle that pop red circle that pops up, and you can click on that and drag it all the way back to start over. Um, if it doesn't let you do it, then just hang tight. Once we get off here, the video is gonna upload, and you're gonna be able to see it. Will y'all hit the like and share button for me before you leave? Get off the live. Will you please hit that button for me? It allows people who are not subscribers to be able to know that this live is here and and be able to access it and watch it. And we want we want we want everybody to be able to uh, hang out with us because we have such a good time, <laughs> such a good time. Now, whoever that was in the comments asking me about being on something. Okay, Deborah Hill. Butterfield wants to interview you on her channel. Okay, thank you, Miss Deborah. Bless your heart. I appreciate y'all. I promise y'all, y'all help me so much when I have questions and I can't think of stuff. Um, y'all come right on in and help me. Thank y'all so much. Okay. All right, Butterfield, 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 if we are not Facebook friends, will you send me a friend request? And I will, um, I will, uh, you know, of course, accept you. And then we can communicate through, uh, through Messenger to get that set up. I'll be glad to do that. If anybody else has a YouTube channel or some other type of um, a social media platform, a podcast or something like that, that you all would like me to um, be a part of, I'll be glad to do that. As long as there's one caveat, I can be myself. If if I can do that, I'm. You got me. I'm there. I'm I'm there. <laughs> all right. All right. Listen, guys. It's the holiday season now. Let's don't be let's don't be crazy. Let's don't be crazy, okay? It's the holiday season. Let's don't be crazy. Let's be mindful with our money, all right? Let's be mindful with our money. If you don't, let's be mindful of our money, okay? I'm gonna put out. A, I'm gonna put out a live and uh, and talk to you guys about a couple of things if you need it and you want it, as it as it relates to some things that you probably. Uh, can invest in and in, in, in ways to easily get into certain things when it comes to investing, especially real estate. This is the best time in the world to get into real estate investing. Turn to you, ain't got all that money. I'm gonna show you. That's the purpose of the live. Give you the information, baby. Okay, I got you. <laughs> all right, everybody. Oh, live, laugh, live, laugh, love, say, YouTube ain't ready for my mouth yet. Oh, bless God. It's ready. If it's ready for the cussing, the cussing pastor, that is Matthews, baby. It's ready for you. <laughs> All right, fam. I thank y'all so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you uh, for your support and your love. I hope y'all won't give up on me. Um, and don't forget to keep me lifted up in your prayers. I appreciate it. I know that the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous avail much. Um, and if we all praying uh, for the same thing, God has got to show up. He don't have no choice but to show up. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys for taking the time out to hang out with me tonight. Um, 
I guess I'm, we're going to have to wait till after the reunion to get Tanya on here so I can um, find out a little bit more. Uh, but, but, but hey, we ain't going nowhere, bless God. We're going to be here to do it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do some more live because, listen, uh, I want to talk to y'all. I might do a live tomorrow. OK, depending on how my campaigning situation come, I'm probably going to do a live tomorrow because I want to talk about this. Uh, I think the guy's first name is Daryl Walls. And. Who used to be Tony. OK. Who used to be Tony. I want to talk about that situation. That's going to be an interesting conversation. And listen, when y'all come in, I need y'all coming in ready to discuss, okay, to discuss. I'm going to ask y'all some questions, and I really want y'all to respond. And I know for some that's a touchy situation, but I'm going to touch all around it. I'm going to touch all around it. I'm going to touch on it, around it, up under it, on the side of it. We're going to touch it. <laughs> I think that really is going to be a good conversation. So listen, y'all be looking. If I'm able to do it, I'm going to send it, you know, set it. Y'all should get the notice notification of the P premiere. Should say premiere. I think that's what it says before the live actually happens. So be looking for it. I'm going to do my very, 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 but my my Facebook name is, is the name on this channel. I think the name on this channel is my name, Alicia Thomas or Alicia L. Thomas. Mm-hmm. You see my, you should see my logo. It has AT and the T looks like a little podium. It has a mic sticking out of it. Uh-huh. Cause I publicly speak and, and preach um two. So I had the T made like a like a podium. And you will see that same logo over on Facebook. Cause I got a few Facebook channels, but look for the one pages but look for the one that got look for the one that got that at over there and um and that'll be me but it's the same name just sent me a friend request okay and my and my phone just beeped so that gotta be you baby let's see look at it coming through it is right there Confirm, confirm, confirm. Got you, ladies. Got you, ladies. So y'all in now, just send me a, a message. Send me a message and uh, and we'll get that set up, okay? All right. Wait a minute, Bridget. Brit. Bridget, whoa. Bridget said he got that devil... <laughs> Oh, Lord. If y'all watch Larry Live, Larry Live talks about when we have to do the Dante. That good and knocked me out. He got that devil. What? <laughs> oh, Lord. It got spirits in it. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> you stupid Bridget. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that. I've heard people say it got a gold tip. <laughs> what a devil. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, Tip Ray. I had to do the I had to do the Dante on that one right there. She knocked me out with that. Oh my God. It may have them Africa angels in it <laughs> that Paula White was praying for. <laughs> oh, he got that African angel. <laughs> I'm in the go because y'all making me be stupid. <laughs> y'all make, 
y'all making me be just too silly right now. No, see, see, y'all can, you know how sometimes y'all push that preach out of me? Y'all about to, y'all about to push the tomfoolery right off the, let me get out of here. <laughs> I know, right? We trying to get off and she's sharing our starting all over again. I'm in that go. I'm through with y'all for the night. <laughs> go feed your children. <laughs> y'all on here making me crack up. And I'm cheering in that mama. Uh, what we gonna eat? <laughs> I'm in the go. I'm in the go. I'm done. 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 God bless you. Thank you. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and go back and look at some of the other videos and kind of see how we hang out and have fun. We hang out, we have fun here. We deal with important, special issues. We're going to talk about the tough topics and 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 I'm definitely going to give you my opinion about some of this shoddy oddy that's going on out here. But, uh, but in the midst of it, we're going to have us a good time. So fam, listen, I love you. God bless you. Thank you. Hey, y'all, it's me, Attorney T. And as usual, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a blessed night, okay? Y'all have a blessed night. And be looking. Y'all done got me all energized. Now I feel like I got to come back tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see y'all later, okay? Be looking for the notification. Let's talk about the, the Walls boy. I think his name Dale. I'm not sure what, what name, but y'all know the little Walls boy that was on video kissing his man. Uh, we're going to talk about that. So y'all be blessed. Have a good night. Have a good rest. Um, y'all have a blessed morning, Sunday morning. Please, y'all, be safe, okay? Be safe. Wear your mask, man. I know you're tired of it, so am I. But 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 I like I said, we'd rather be alive, right? Folks around here say it's better to be seen than viewed. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.